Hey, it's Greg here with MaritimeGardening.com and I thought I would do a video on planting an apple tree. This is a, a kind of apple tree you can buy, uh, you can get it shipped to your house uh, called a whip. Uh, the variety is uh, sweet 16 apples, it's supposed to be very sweet. If you're planting trees on a property, you want to have uh, more than one and you want every tree to be, or at least, you know, they have to be different varieties in order for them to pollinate each other properly. If you have two trees, each tree has to be a different variety. So I don't have any sweet 16 apple trees. I've got a couple other varieties on my property and I wanted another tree and this is a nice spot in my garden to plant one. Um, this is what they call a bare root tree. So it comes with the, the roots, there's no soil on the roots. So I mean, a lot of people buy their trees like at a hardware store or a garden center where the tree is growing in a, in a giant flower pot. and. Uh, there's a lot of advantages to growing a tree uh, in this way. The, the roots are going to uh, adapt to your soil. I'm just showing you closely. This is what they call a whip. It's basically one kind of tree attached to another kind of tree. That 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 bump there that I just uh, uh, put my finger right, right there. That's what they call a graft union, where you've got one kind of apple tree growing in the ground with a, a variety of tree that has a, a kind of roots that are really tough that can handle being frozen or just really hardy um, and then they graft on to the rootstock a variety of apple tree that has apples that taste really good usually rootstock uh, apples taste terrible <laughs> so <laughs> so they select the rootstock for those qualities a sort of toughness and hardiness the ability to handle being uh, all the different kinds of uh, risks that go along to a tree that uh, a company being in the ground and then they graft on uh, a kind of tree that has really tasty roots. So all I'm doing right now is I've, I've unpacked that, that paper stuff. It's like a moist paper type thing that the uh, tree is, is uh, uh, shipped in. And I'm loosening up all the roots and I'm going to spread them out like a fan in this hole I've made. I haven't made a particularly big hole. Um, <laughs> you, you basically got a, you know, a piece of tree with bare roots and you wouldn't think it would work. But the great thing about this is that this tree, those roots are going to adapt to being in your soil. Now, what I'm doing here, it's hard to see from the angle, but I'm creating something like a cone so I can fan the roots out on that. So in that hole, in the bottom of the hole, I'm creating a shape that's something like a, a small round cone-like mound, like a bowl that's upside down. And I'll set the root ball on that and fan the roots out along that and spread them out as much as I can in that hole. Here I'm just bringing in a little closer to see that little uh, mound thing I made. Uh, I mean this is just based on all the literature I've read. Um, all of the other trees I have they weren't bare rooted. It's just a bit of an experiment for me too so if you're apprehensive you can watch and see how mine does this year and maybe buy some next year. Uh, I know uh, Bessie Seeds who I got this from if you buy I think three you get a better deal on them. And if, of course if you use my um, coupon code GAVS19 you get free shipping but you can see here I'm, I'm placing it on that little mound and I'm spreading this out and you, we want to plant it at a depth where the uh, of course the roots are covered but the the graft union that bulge I showed you that's part way up is, is above above grade and, and and above the level of your mulch as well uh, so here I'm just putting the soil that I took out back in uh, a lot of people will use like this soil or that soil when you're planting a tree, you should use the same soil that it's going to be growing in. That's the kind of, I mean, there's lots of different discussion about this from, from everything I've read, it makes sense to me. That's the soil those roots have to deal with. So that's the soil that they should be planted in. Moreover, if you, if, let's say you've got a hard clay soil and you dig a hole in it and you put some loose loamy soil in there, well, what you're really doing is making a bowl or a well, right? And so it'll just fill with water and the roots, uh, Roots like water, but they don't like being submerged, right? That can actually cut down, it can deprive the roots of the oxygen they need and, and actually kill the tree or greatly harm it. So here I am just putting the mulch back around this, this garden. That This is the end, the, the north end of a uh, strawberry bed. And I found that berries and uh, apple trees seem to get along fine. You plant an apple tree at the, the back, by back, I mean the north end of a garden with berries. You can put little bush, uh, like in my other apple trees, I've got bush berries in front. Uh, and here I am just watering them, right? But I find that that, that combination works fairly well, um, just in terms of the timing of things. You know, the, 
berries do most of their growing before the trees really have put a lot of leaves on, um, at least for the first uh, crop of uh, berries. So it, it works out. I find that they complement each other just fine if you plant them in that sense. Um, anyway, that's the idea. I got the mulch back on here and we'll see. Well, you know, we'll follow this thing, follow the progress as the season goes along. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, share, subscribe, and check out my podcast, MaritimeGardening.com. Until next time, get out there, get at it, have fun in your garden. Thanks for watching.